What's up, guys? Nadia and Sans here for another exciting episode of Blur Not Edit Stuff. I'm really gonna try to keep my eyes open today. Some of you have been commenting and saying, why are your eyes always closed? Are you smoking too much weed? What's the deal? The truth is, since I moved my desk to be right in front of the window, the natural light just really hurts my baby blues. They're precious. So sometimes I'll squint because I can't f***ing see anything. But today, they're staying open. <sighs> Anyway, sorry I didn't make a video last week. I was out flying my drone and then... Contango Alpha, it looks like this uh, may be an incident here. Going down. <sighs> On behalf of my poor drone, rest in peace drone, you've been great. We're doing the triggered meme today. Adobe Premiere, we're jumping in right now. My eyes are open. Let's do it. All right, y'all, Premiere is open and I've got the clip on my timeline, which I want to do the triggered meme effect to. So let's check this out. There you go, beautiful. So what I want to do is I want to start the triggered meme basically as soon as I hit this position here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this on the timeline. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to add frame hold, which is going to apply a freeze frame to wherever the video starts. So then we can start doing some stuff. So now that I've got that covered, I'm actually gonna trim this audio back a little bit as well. Cool, looking pretty good so far. Uh, and then the next most important thing, I think, is the sound effect that you use for the triggered meme. So basically what I did was I went online and I just found a Vine compilation of a bunch of triggered memes. And if you click over, if you hit this little, so this is video and audio, if you just click on this little waveform thing, it'll show you just the audio. And what I did was I found one of the ones that's just super distorted, like unnecessary, this just looks like a stick of butter. Uh, and that's pretty much what you want for a triggered meme, I think. So I set my ins and outs. It is so distorted, Jesus. Okay, anyway. So let's take this, just the audio, and let's bring it down onto our timeline here. And we want the freeze frame to start right where the big bass hit hits. So let's move that to about right there, perfect. Nice, looking good. All right, so. Uh, number one thing for a triggered meme is you have to zoom in really fast, right? So we're gonna come over here to our freeze frame section and we are just going to set our position and scale. And we're just gonna go two frames. And then we're gonna zoom in like crazy here. Center that up in the frame, just like that, looking good. And then we're just gonna go one frame and we're just gonna move this all over the place. Like no rhyme or reason at all for doing what we're doing. Cause that's pretty much what the triggered meme is. It just doesn't make any sense. So we're gonna just keep, uh, keep doing this here. Uh, don't worry about the scale right now. Cause we're gonna come back to that. Uh, I'm going one frame over by the way, by just hitting the right arrow key on the keyboard. And then what you can do is actually just copy and paste a bunch of these keyframes so that you don't have to just do it every single time. So one frame over, hit paste, go to your last frame, one frame over, hit paste, and that will basically give you the same effect uh, that you're looking for. So now uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to just, instead of it, so we scale up really quick right here, and then over the duration of the video, I'm actually just gonna have it scale up um, slowly. I think that's what I've seen mostly, so it's not just random. So let's check it out, see what we got. Okay, cool. So let's cut the audio here. Uh, that's looking pretty good so far. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. And then um, included in the description of this video, I will have this triggered PNG thing, which I made that, which is kind of similar to the first one, um, except I made it so it's 1920 um, width on your frame if you're using HD footage because the other one originally was made for Vine so it was really small and like doesn't really work with this so download that if you want I don't care it's all yours and then for this one set our position and scale go over two keyframes set our position and scale and then we're just gonna move this out of frame down so that it just pops up just like that and if you wanted to we can uh, just very slightly move the triggered just a little bit so that it moves with the video, but not overpowering the video, if that makes any sense. So we'll grab these and we will just copy and paste to our heart's content here. So we'll go here, go one frame over, paste, go here, one frame over, paste. Do you see the pattern that's going on here? Okay, cool. 
So let's see what that looks like. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Uh, looking pretty good. If you guys wanted to, you can add some sort of effect uh, to your bottom video. If you come over here, go to effects, and we go to video effects. Uh, basically, just pick one. Like, do whatever you want. So if we go to stylized, um, and we go to, I don't know, solarize. Interesting. Uh, so I would assume then we have to nest this if you're doing any sort of, like, position scale effects for Solarize to work. Yeah, there you go. And then we can have this actually, uh, the threshold of the Solarize meet where the video zooms in. So two keyframes, we'll have it hit 50, we'll have it start at zero. <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty much it. So whatever video you guys have, uh, just kind of go through that same workflow and zoom in on it and just make it jitter and make it look all crazy. That's pretty much what a triggered meme is. Uh, you can do it on anything. You can find a video on the internet and do it. You can do one yourself. Just have fun and be creative. Oh, you thought I'd forget. Use the knowledge in today's video to create your own cool thing. Don't just copy me. But if you wanted to, obviously I'm flattered. Thank you so much. Pretty short video today, guys. You know, simple yet effective. That's how we like to do things around here. Learn how to edit stuff. If you'd like, follow me on social media at Naughty and Sands on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Just my personal social media account has nothing to do with editing for the most part. So if you just want to get to know me, shoot me a message on there. I like to talk to my fans. It's pretty cool. Also, subscribe to my channel and check out last week's video if you missed it. If you missed it, I don't know why you missed it. Also, subscribe to my channel because that's why we're here, you know? I'm just trying to build a community of people that want to learn how to edit stuff. That's all it is. It's pretty simple. All right. Click one of those things. Have a good one.